Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TCG Worlds 2016. Still on the Mega Mewtwo Y Zoro Archival Tall Week, so we'll find two games and see how we do. No matter if we win or lose, I will try to showcase how the deck works and all. So we could be up here against a uh, Night March deck, I believe. I did see Psychic Lightning and Colorless, but I also saw Grass. So what could Grass be? Still gonna choose to go first because it could be a Mega Sceptile deck, maybe. But our starting hand is definitely not ideal, no matter what we're up against. <laughs> definitely not ideal for us. Now it is Combi, okay. So it is. Night March Vespiquin, I would assume. Now, if I play the Hex Maniac, I cannot attach. Hmm. Ugh, this is horrible. I really wish I had top deck Tazurua. Then my hand wouldn't be too bad, but two Mega Turbos and Hex Maniac are the only thing we have. Gonna attach the DC to this Evil Tall. And I will get to use my Shaman for two cards. Hopefully we draw something useful here. Wow. <laughs> three Mega Turbos. All three Mega Turbos we run are in my hand right now. Which is obviously not good at all. I will get two Mewtwo's. Oh gosh. We're in for an interesting and very slow game. Gonna get one Mega and Shaman. Or just no, these two. Gonna forego the Zoroark right now because my hand really needs some um something. <laughs> and I'm gonna play the Hex Maniac. At least deny him some Shaman. And next turn I have one extra card guaranteed with my own Shaman, I guess. And I do have my top deck as well. To hopefully get out of this <laughs> horrible, horrible mess I'm in. Now my opponent does play a DCE onto combi. Gets a forest of giant plants into play. Evolves right away, so he is going to be able to damage me. He doesn't have any Pokemon in his discard pile though. So... He does get a Bell Compressor, so he will be able to get some more Pokemon. He definitely <laughs> won't be able to get enough to KO me, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I can't count on that. But given how our hand currently looks, I'm not liking my odds. The whole point of using Evil Tall is to battle Night March, but the fact that he has Vespiquin as support means. We have to rely on Mewtwo, and Mewtwo gets countered pretty badly by by Joltik, or rather Pumpkapu, sorry. <laughs> now... Yeah, basically my whole deck is completely weak to him. Gonna attach this energy, there's no harm in that, and I will get a couple of extra cards. But yeah, I was gonna say, I don't foresee anything being too useful right now. <laughs> the only thing that would potentially help would be top decking either an Ultra Ball or a Mega Mewtwo. But I'm not liking my odds. Another thing that another good thing that could happen is if he retreats and decides to attack with Joltik. That would be great for us because I could get a KO back with my own with my other evil tall. And I'm guessing that's what he's gonna try and do. Now we've only seen lampant and lightning energies, no pump kabu. Yet. I mean he has to run pump kabu, right? Right? It's another combi, so he won't be benching any 
pump caboose yet. So this is definitely a version of Night March I have not seen myself. Or maybe it's just Vespiquin with Joltik support? Not entirely sure. He is going to Night March, he will get the KO. But that just means I can't get a KO back with my own Nivaltal. Get that energy back and onto Mewtwo. And I do get a Professor Sycamore. The thing is though, all my Mega Turbos are going down the drain. Do I try to wait? Is it worth waiting to try and top deck? I think it is, because I will draw a prize and I will have another card to top deck. Both of which could net me either a Mega Mewtwo or an Ultra Ball. So we'll see. Super Rod doesn't help our case. So we rely on our top deck. I might be kicking myself after this turn. <coughs> but who knows. Does attach a lightning, he does attach a muscle band. Can he do enough to KO me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not yet. So maybe that muscle band was a mistake. If he had attached it to the active, he would get the KO. But I think he's going to miss on the KO. So that definitely gives us some some breathing room and might even put us ahead in prices which would be very interesting and good given our current situation now he does play a verse seeker he can sycamore lysander birch shona i don't know why you would run shona and birch in the same deck i would always go with birch at this point in time, but he does decide to Sycamore. What else did he discard? I hate that the latest cards discarded are at the end of the discard pile instead of at the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus the 20, he's doing 120 damage, so he's 10 short. And he's got only 10 cards left in his deck, so he probably has a Battle Compressor, yeah. The Battle Compressor guarantees he gets a KO. The fact that he doesn't have Dimension Valley that we can see pretty much allows our Mewtwo's to trade somewhat favorably. Not entirely, but somewhat. And nope. So the question here is, is it worth it? to get back the evil tolls. I don't think it is. Just gonna stick them over here. I have to. I need more Mewtwo's. I need a Mega Mewtwo this turn. Which I obviously do not get. Which means this is game. This really is game. I cannot take a KO here. I cannot do anything. I didn't get an Ultra Ball, of course. I didn't get a Mega Mewtwo. <sighs> Our starting hand was stellar. Absolutely stellar. All he needs to do is KO both Shamans, which are pretty easy targets. He could potentially also KO my Mega Mewtwo, but just go straight for the B Revenge. So we still have uh, a chance here, I guess. I do top deck another Sycamore. So, I'm gonna touch the DCE, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and Sycamore here. Still no Mega Mewtwo. I do get a Zorua at least. I will get rid of both Evil Tulls. And yeah, all three Mega Mewtwo's are there. I do think I will need the energy potentially for later. So at least I get one KO here. Put us even in the prices. Now if only I could KO Shaman. 
I do have a guaranteed Mega Mewtwo next turn to take another KO, which is great. He's down to um, one, two. It's down to two DCEs. And he didn't attach any kind of energy last turn, so he might not have it just yet. So he is at some risk of getting decked out. And I also think I might be able to just Lysander up something before he gets... Although I don't know. I think I might be... Yeah, because of the muscle band. Probably has enough Pokemon by now. He only has three cards left. He has a Verse Seeker, so he can KO. Oh, he's going to Birch. Is he really going to Birch? He hasn't attached an energy yet. Wow, so are they priced? Does he have two DCs priced? Did he draw it? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. Wow, we're gonna steal a win here. We really are going to steal a win. I mean, it's not over yet. Don't get me wrong. It's not over yet. But, wow, that's probably one of the best cards we could have top decked. Now, do I retreat here? That's the question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's 190. So, I'm going to retreat here. I really am going to retreat. Just paying the DCE. I will take the KO with this Mewtwo. I will attach an energy to Zorua so that I have Zoroark as an option. Could potentially use my Battle Compressor, but I want cards to discard with 4 Ultra Ball. So I'm gonna just take the KO like this. He shouldn't be able to KO me back. So this might be what we needed in order to win this match. Wow. Him whiffing on the DCEs is pretty unlucky on him. This game is definitely... I mean, we drew terribly in the beginning, so I guess this compensates a bit. And once again, this shows you how you shouldn't really give up and try to play your, base, your best at every single point in the match so that you have... I mean, even if your odds of winning are 30-70, that's still something pretty significant, or 20-80 or 10-90. As long as there's a chance, I mean, especially when there's no time factor, to consider just play it out you never know when your opponent might misplay when he might um, do something weird you really never know now he attaches his DC to shaman so he did draw it off of the off of the Vespiquen's attack <laughs> who does he promote here though does he promote Joltik or does he promote Vespiquen he promotes Vespiquen to force me to attach another energy to get a KO which I do have he will have the DCE but then we can KO back and he should be out of attackers that's his fourth Joltik and that's his fourth Vespiquen so this should be game this really should be game gonna ultra ball and get Zoroark out yep there it is I'm going to evolve because I can potentially KO with Zoroark next turn and force him to have some sort of Lysander DC muscle band to KO this Mega Mewtwo with Shaman for him to win so wow I can't believe we might be able to win this match. I mean, it's still not over, don't get me wrong. He still, if he still has a DC muscle band, Lysander to KO with Shaman, that would be game. He does 
200 damage. We can KO with Sorark here. And... Okay, I'm gonna promote Mewtwo, but I do have the energy. So I really want to think this through. We get an escape rope, which doesn't help our case. We do have Judge, so I think that's our best play here. To take the KO with Zoroark. How many versus Seekers does he have left? There's one and one Lysander, two versus Seekers, sorry, and one Lysander, three versus Seekers. So he potentially has one more verse seeker and definitely one more DC, which he might have gotten right now out of the prices. Therefore, I am going to judge here to reduce the odds of him having the DC muscle band and verse seeker or Lysander. He needs three cards next turn in order to win. I still won't have a guaranteed anything just yet. I will get rid of all of these cards just to ensure... Nope. Do I want to bench Zorua? Yeah, I can bench Zorua. I will use Tandin. Now, the big thing here is... I don't... He has a few turns to get the... The Shaman going. Because of... I My damage output relies on my opponent. So if he got the DC off of his prizes, if he has a last muscle band, and if he has... Wow, there's the verse Seeker. Does he have... Oh no, he goes for Shona. So that's game. I mean, unless he has some sort of body body rescue, or revive, or super odd, which I would imagine he does. Um... I think that's game. There's the DC. So he did get the DC off of the prizes. Now, he can simply shuffle in and out all of his Pokemon. Do I have enough energy? One, two darkness, three, four, five, six. I only have one darkness energy left in the deck. Do I have a DCE? One, two, three. I do have one DC left. So what I need is my DC because he can just do 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 and I would not have enough damage to KO him. So he might have judge here. So what I will do is get rid of everything that does not help me win this game, which are exactly these three cards. The Lysander might help me at some point. The escape rope also probably doesn't help me at all so that's just in case i'm wasting all of these cards just in case he decides to use um judge and remove my dc from my hand but i will only do 10 damage right now he will do 30 and he can shuffle shamans that way and if my dc was last my, my was my last prize he would win because he would just be healing off all the damage i mean he would probably deck out but it's not guaranteed and I would never be able to do enough damage in order to to win the match he concedes so I guess he assumed I had the DC maybe he didn't even think of the possibility I was just saying but that was definitely very scary towards the end because even though I pulled it out in the end because of those turns he missed the DC if I didn't have my own last DC and that darkness, that last darkness energy, I would have never been able to deal enough damage to KO a Shaman, and he would have simply been able to cycle through them and win. So since I didn't know if my last DCE was in my deck, using that Sycamore was a bit... Um, was definitely a bit aggressive because... I made it so that my deck was thinner than my opponent's. Therefore, I would have decked first. I did have two... Wow. <laughs> Stellar hand once again. I did have two... Two verse seekers, but the judge would have made it so we both shuffled, not just him. 
And now we're up against a fairy deck. So we might be facing a Mega Mewtwo Mirror Match here. Uh, if I had only started with Eviltal instead of Hoopa, this starting hand would be amazing. But because I did start with Hoopa, <laughs> now it really sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> and I top deck another useless card. Okay. Gonna get rid of the two darkness here. And I have to get Shaman to try to draw something. And it's so unfortunate that I have to use my escape rope here. It really is. Because afterwards, I will have to rely on Zorark to get this Hoopa out of the active spot. <sighs> Very unfortunate start for us. Both games, we started out terribly. If we had started anything but Hoopa, we would have had an amazing, amazing hand. But alas, we did not. I will get a Mewtwo here. Start powering it up, put the spirit link on it, and I guess that Sycamore saved my my first turn. I took it a fresh set of seven cards. Hopefully we can bench a Zorua. Ideally a Zorua with a floatstone, but I think that's asking for too much. But wow, we actually do get that. So not bad. Okay. This is has definitely taken a uh, a turn for the better now. I do pass, but I can't put pressure with Mewtwo next turn. I won't get the KO though, unfortunately. I will only deal... Oh no, I will get the KO. I will deal 130 damage exactly. I was thinking he resisted because I'm using darkness energy, but Mega Mewtwo is not dark, <laughs> actually. I was seriously forgetting that. So, what we need... Oh, I didn't want to top deck a Verse Seeker. Gosh, we always top deck Verse Seekers or Sycamores when we are going to Sycamore. Anyways, we need a Zoroark here. We have two of them and four Ultra Balls. <laughs> we get absolutely nothing. Neither of those. So we have to pass once again. And give him another free turn of Geomancy. Ah, man. Okay. At least his deck relies on attaching a lot of energy. So if we plan out our turns correctly, we can ensure we get back-to-back -back KOs. And get rid of a lot of his energy from play. He also hasn't benched anything. He hasn't evolved Aromatis. So his start isn't too stellar either. I'm really glad we have that birch in order to shuffle back in those other two Mega Mewtwo's because otherwise we would be in serious trouble here. If we had to discard them, we would rely solely on the Super Rod in order to get them back. And I don't like relying on a single card you use in your deck that you can't even directly search for. Now he flips heads again on birch. He is running Giratina, which is definitely a bit scary and will force my hand into attaching to Zorua and ideally onto a second. I would like to bench another Zorua. Yeah, or I what I really need is um my Hex Maniac. That's what I really need here. But first of all, I'm just gonna birch here flip tails he flips two heads i flip one tails um still no <laughs> still no anything useful there's a hex maniac so i probably do want to get rid of it there's one verse seeker two verse seekers Ugh. that's not something you want to see I will get rid of one baby evil tall though, the one in the deck. But do I get rid of the Hex Maniac? Because... Oh, I'd really like to 
get some KOs now. <laughs> I really would love to do that. Do I? I mean, there's only two verse seekers left, so the odds aren't too great. But I guess they are higher than just the one hex maniac. Fine. And I will just pass the turn once more. I had the professor's letter in my previous hand. I don't know why I didn't attach to Sorua. That was a very silly mistake. I was too focused on just not getting rid of the of the two Mega Mewtwo's that I completely forgot about that. He attaches a Headringer to Shaman. That doesn't really matter. He will be able to get uh, Aromatis now. And I'm really glad seeing him discard a Verse Seeker there. That's two Verse Seekers. But wow, he's using uh, Team Flur Grunt and Ace Trainer. And he didn't get a Rheumatist, so he might wi have to wait another turn. And he's using Jirachi as well, so... <laughs> this is definitely going to be an interesting match. He didn't get any energy out. And I have absolutely nothing still, so I'm going to judge. We both had four cards, so it doesn't really make too big of a difference. I do get my verse seeker though, which is awesome. Problem is, I have no way to retreat that hoopa just yet, and I only have two darkness energy left. That could be a problem here. There's two in my discard pile. So there's one in my prices here. I will attach to this Arua. And I will pass a turn. We're both playing the waiting game. What I really need is simply... All I need is just a... Uh, uh, I need him to start attacking here. That's all I need him to do. He's gonna see Kamor, so hopefully he gets Aromatis now. I really want him to put some pressure on us. Want him to... Yeah, there's Aromatis. So, he might bring up Giratina. I don't know if he checked that we have the Hex Maniac in the discard pile. If he did, he might not realize we have the... the Hex Maniac already. But no, he just shuffles energy around and passes. Okay, so I'm going to attach and pass myself. If we're going to play this game, he's going to deck out first. <laughs> he might be waiting for a, for a Lysander to use Jirachi. He might be waiting for that. Yeah, there's the Lysander. He brings up my Mega Mewtwo. And uh, he's going to be able to discard everything or to get the KO and of course since we aren't rushing, running muscle band I will have no way to KO the Lugia 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that's 200 damage are you going to misplay? <sighs> he misplayed oh no he had the muscle band so that's pretty much game that is pretty much game <laughs> man why does this happen it's just so ridiculous and now we're gonna have to waste a versus seeker onto a birch or a judge onto a birch or a judge a judge but we can't get a KO how are we going to set up another Mewtwo at this point how <laughs> we don't even get the Zorak or an Ultra Ball. Have we even... Ugh. This is just beyond ridiculous. Absolutely beyond ridiculous. Oh, and <laughs> I'm just going to concede here, guys. I... I never got anything. I If I had gotten Zoro Zoroark, I would have won. I would have put a lot of pressure. I would have started attacking. He got every energy in play. He got the Lysander to get the KO. It, uh, just ridiculous. That's it for today, guys. Sorry about 
that f very very frustrating last game but uh, nothing I could do it's just the hands you're dealt with 15 parts left no Zoroark um, our Sycamores were crap we of course draw versus Seeker with Sycamore it's just incredible but that's Pokemon for you isn't it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in Spanish or on Friday in English once again for the last day of this deck. Bye-bye.